strange quakes in southern Greece, south of Crete, and now in Rhodes, in volcano area close to Nisiros of the Aegean Sea, which is a, an island volcano. But Rhodes also has a number of hot spring baths, just like Nisiros does, just like Crete does. But uh, we also know that the earthquake swarm of very strong quakes south of Heraklion in Crete, about a third of the distance between Crete and uh, North Africa, Libya and Egypt, is an area where we've had the 6.5, 5.8, 5.3, and very large moderate quakes, about 4.9, 4.8, 4.4, and we've had a 4.4, 4.4 in Rhodes as well. And what's happening there? Now, what I'm afraid of is because I've taken many uh, vacation trips to Crete and Rhodes and Nisiros, but Rhodes is a beautiful island. Most of the northern tip of the island is populated, and the other half, the other 90% from there down to the south is basically virgin. There's hardly any, any roads there, um, but there are a lot of hot spring baths since antiquity you know, on the island of Rhodes, and also the volcanic island of. Uh, this is one of the uh, areas near the crater of the Nisiros volcano. Look at all these things. These are fissures and um, springs. Now, let's go to the maps so you can see the vicinity of the area. We know it is a subduction zone. And uh, above the arc of the subduction arc, we have an arc, uh, the volcanic arc. And this is, a, again, a view of the Nisiros volcano crater. And uh, this is a, an image taken from Emborios, one of the uh, three or four villages of the island. And uh, basically, the population is very low. I think it, the, the people that live there are about nine, not even 900 people. And most of them are quite old. And uh, they, if they have tourism, the people come for day trips from the island of uh, nearby Gos. And even Gos has hot spring baths. Let's take a look at the maps to see what's going on there. Seismo Berkeley. This is the 4.3 that we had today. And uh, this is the one, uh, these are the previous ones that you can see uh, a couple of days ago. Carpothos, which is just south of Rhodes, southwest of Rhodes. And you can see there's a quake swarm there. This is a very large quake swarm there. And um, this one here is in just off Rhodes, 4.4. And this is a lot deeper. It's about 41 kilometers depth, whereas these are, um, as you see, 10 kilometers depth, 10 kilometers depth, even that one, 10 kilometers depth. And this one here was, again, 20 kilometers depth, 5.7, Methoni. Methoni was, is uh, the name Methana from methane gas. Okay, it's off Methoni, meaning that's a, a methane volcano, obviously, um, of, of the Peloponnese. And this is... Afandu, which is uh, just off roads. Afandu has a, call, a golf course there. And um, let's go to this area. It's right here. Okay. Let's go to the tectonics. Sorry. Okay. That's the subduction zone right there, as you can see. And uh, if we pull out a little bit, you can see that that's where we've had the earthquake swarms south of Crete, about a third of the distance between Crete and Libya, and uh, Egypt, for example, okay. And this is the subduction zone, and that's the volcanic arc right there. That's the volcanic arc. Um, but all of these islands, most of these islands have hot spring baths, of course, because of the fact that you have um, magma underneath. Okay, let's go in a little bit further in, okay, so you can have a, a better idea of the island, since we're here. Let's go to, sorry, let's go to... Um, um, okay, here we are on Google Earth, and we can have a better picture of what's going on there. Okay, this is the subduction zone right there. This is the area of where we had the quake swarms here in Crete, south of Crete. Let's go back to this right here, as you can see, right there. Okay, back to Google Earth again. And this is where we had the five-something earthquakes uh, magnitude in Carpathos, the island of Carpathos, that's Rhodes, and that's Kos, 
the day trips from coast to Nisiros, you can see that round there, that round island is Nisiros, which is a volcanic island. Let's go, Nisiros, okay? Nisiros is all is just one big volcano. There it is, you can see that in the middle, there, right there. That's just one big volcano. Uh, I remember once years ago we had, we, we were on a, what was it, the beginning of July, mid-July, we couldn't get off the island. We had quakes every day, on the hour and on the half hour, on the hour and on the half hour, from midnight until 7 in the morning. Our children had to sleep, uh, you know, we obviously were putting our children to bed. We weren't sleeping. We had our clothes on. And uh, every hour, it was a strong quake, and on the half hour, you can see it by your clock. And um, on the half hour, it was half, half the strength. And on the hour, again, strong earthquake, on the half hour, half the strength. And uh, it was more than coincidence. It was, it was, we believed it was the hand of God. I mean, how can you have on the hour and on the half hour? That's just not feasible. Um, that's the crater right there. You can see that. That's, that's, you can see how beautiful these, there it is. That's, um, they have a geothermal plant there, by the way, as well. Okay. That's it right there. That's the main crater there. I think the geothermal plant is somewhere on the side. You have people farming there as well. They keep their animals there farming. The, the, because of the fact that a lot of uh, this is pumice rock, uh, it uh, maintains the humidity from the sea. And uh, the, all their fruits and vegetables taste very nice as well. That's it right there. That's a little caffeine cantina area. Um, that's it. And there's a sign there for people. They say, if you go down there, you go down there on your own risk. You can risk your life going down there. Um, and when you do go down there, you, can, you can't stay more than a minute because you feel the heat coming from, uh, through the soles of your shoes. And it's also very soft, God forbid. You know, I mean, the last time we went, I'm, it's, you know, people go down there to take pictures of themselves with their children and their families. I mean, that's ridiculous. We even did that as well. Um, very bad. Now, there's a, a little city, a little town here, Mandraki. Nikya, Nikya, there it is, Nikya. Uh, we used to go there for dinner sometimes, and uh, you, would, you would smell the rotten egg smell coming from the volcano, uh, that smell of sulfur, you know, the rotten egg smell. Um, okay, so that's the vol it's a volcanic island, as you can see. So that's a volcano there, that whole island. Um, you have Gos, the day trips come from Gos to Nisiros, and uh, you have uh, Hot Springs Bathur as well, and you have the island of Rhodes. Uh, that's um, since antiquity, the island of Rhodes was there, and also during the Crusades, they used it for rest and, relaxa rest and relaxation from the Crusades from across uh, the, the sea to uh, the Levant, Libya and, uh, you know, uh, Israel. Uh, and uh, they, they would have the uh, Cyprus for rest and relaxation as well. Uh, the Knights Commanders of King Richard the Lionheart, the Knights Commanders, and uh, Rhodes, okay? And uh, let's go to the Rhodes of 4.4. Afandu is the uh, golf, it's off the golf course of Afandu. There's Afandu right there. Um, most of the Northern Ireland is populated, and uh, the other parts are really, I mean, you don't even have any roads going there. Most of the island is not you know, populated. Most of the population is to the, to the north. Um, okay, I just wanted to show you that. Let's go back to our map here. And um, Crete, the Crete details, which is the same as, uh, of course, for, for roads as well. The tectonic summary, Mediterranean region, seismically active due to the northward convergence of 4 to 10 millimeters a year of the African plate with respect to the Eurasian plate along a complex plate boundary. The convergence began about 50 million years ago and was associated with the closure of the Tethys Sea, the modern day remnants of the Tethys Sea, the Mediterranean Sea. The highest rates of seismicity in the Mediterranean are found along the Hellenic subduction zone right there of southern Greece, along with the North Anatolian Fault right there of Turkey, Western Turkey, and the Calabrian subduction of southern Italy. Local high rates of conversion at the Hellenic subduction zone are 35 millimeters a year, 
are associated with back arc spreading throughout Greece and Western Turkey above the subduction Mediterranean Ocean crust, and crustal normal faulting throughout the region is a manifestation of extension tectonics. At the uh, region of Marmara Sea, which is that sea here, let's go to our um, Google Earth map. You can even see the tectonics here. That's the, you can even see the crack in the earth. That's the North Anatolia Fault. Marmara Sea, Thalassa to Marmara, Marmara Sea right there. And that's the Bosporus going into the uh, Black Sea. That's the Sea of Marmara. You can even see the crack right there going all the way in this part here, going through Athens. This is Athens right here. So, very high earthquakes uh, can take place there. The Anatolian microplate is being pushed westward. Anatolian microplate right here. Push westward to further recovery of the culture of the Mediterranean basin caused by the collision of the African plate and the Arabian plate. Uh, push towards westward to accommodate the closure of the Mediterranean basin caused by the collision of the African and Arabian plates in southeastern Turkey. Subduction of the Mediterranean seafloor beneath the Mediterranean Sea and the Calabrian subduction zone causes significant zone of seismicity around Sicily, there's Sicily, and southern Italy. Active volcanoes located above intermediate depth earthquakes in the Cyclades and Cyclades here and Aegean Sea right there and southern Italy. And they have had some very big earthquakes in the central Cyprus, uh, Greece, Cyprus, Sicily, Crete, Nile Delta, North Libya, Atlas Mountains of North Africa. So basically, it's this whole uh, region surrounding the Mediterranean, okay? From Cyprus, Levant, Crete, uh, southern Greece, uh, Sicily, Italy, and uh, the Atlas Mountains here, and uh, here as well. And as we said before, I mean, you can, you can even see some very beautiful, pristine lava flows here. Look at that, that there, for example. I don't know if that is, but look at this thing here. Oh, there's some, sorry, there's a car passing outside with this radio blasting. Look at this. And this is supposed to be desert. And yet, I mean, if these things were to go off, nobody would even know. Look at that. That seems to have water inside. Look at that. That even ha seems to have water inside. Water, water in that crater. Um, you see that? Yes. Volcanoes as well. You can see. Google Earth, you can find some very nice things in Google Earth. Um, there's also, of course, you know, the, uh, the crude oil is very, very uh, close to the surface uh, of the sand. You just basically scratch it a couple of feet down and you get crude coming out. Okay, so let's go back to our things here. We have had some big earthquakes. To, to a 1926, 7.8 in Rhodes, the largest instrumental record Mediterranean earthquake, both of which are associated with subduction zone tectonics. Between 1939 and 1999, a series of devastating 7 plus magnitude strikes of earthquakes propagated westward along the North Anatolia fault line beginning with 1939 magnitude 7.8 Erzincan Khan quake on the eastern end of North Anatolia. So you can understand how um, seismic this is but what I'm worried about is because of this one here which is at a 41 kilometer depth 4.4 uh, in uh, roads which has uh, a lot of uh, ancient baths uh, since antiquity and even um, during the Crusades, uh, and a lot of them are even used up to today, okay, in roads. Afandu has one of them as well. And uh, Arhangelos, you know, a lot of these areas have uh, uh, ancient baths. That's the golf course there, Afandu golf course. Somewhere on the beach, somewhere near the beach. Beautiful beaches in Rhodes, by the way. Beautiful beaches. It's all very beautiful sand. Anyway, um, olive groves, as you can see there. And uh, magma everywhere underneath, of course. That's where we have so many volcanoes there. And um, that's Santorini. That's supposedly the area that uh, the volcano that blasted 
that they say could have been at the time of the Exodus. That's Thira Santorini, as you can see. Um, it's, uh, it's circular because of the fact that that uh, blasted away. Okay, Pallacameni. That's it. This was supposedly uh, broken up, as you can see. Santorini, volcanic island as well. Okay. In the Aegean, and that's uh, Nitsiros we saw to begin with. So uh, that's what's going on there. I think the tectonics, but th there also, there's also magma under there. I now leave links below for you. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.